Today we're going to go over replacing the fuser assembly on the HP LaserJet 4350. This also applies to the 4300, the 4250, and the 4200 series printer. What you want to do is, in this case, turn the printer off, unplug it. You then want to go to the back side of the machine, either walk around it or turn it around. You're going to open the back tray up. Right here in this corner, there's a, there's a recess here. This is actually a spot for, to pull out the back tray. So you just want to squeeze in slightly so it, you can pull it out. At that point, the fuser assembly is completely exposed. You can see there's two little blue tabs here. There's um, an area here and an area here for your thumb to rest. You just want to pinch, pull it out. That's how the fuser assembly comes out. Installation is a reverse process. You just want to push it in until you hear it click. Same thing, you can always kind of pull back a little just to make sure it doesn't come out. Installing this, you want to start, to install the back tray, you want to start from the right hand side. There's a little divot hole in the back corner for that to set. Put your finger here, you squeeze in a little to get it in. And then once it pops, you'll hear it click to snap in. And then power the machine back on and that's replacing the fuser on a 4350 series HP printer.